Hi, I'm William from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're gonna to be showing you BD's upgraded sway bar end links for your Dodge pickup. BD's upgraded sway bar end links are a really nice uh, upgraded feature of your Dodge pickup truck. Now they make these for the Dodges and the Chevrolets, I'm sure that more uh, that more platforms are, are going to be coming soon on that. But one of the biggest things is um, I see a lot of trucks with sway bars that sometimes don't have end links, end links are broken, whatever that is. Now, the sway bar on your vehicle controls the lean of the vehicle and when you're in turns or you're, in, or you're turning. And with the end links that are on the Dodge trucks, um, you can tell this is the one that came off of my vehicle. You can see that the polyurethane on it is just beat up really, really bad. The connection at the axle is actually wore out. These, this type of uh, sway bar end links, these, these don't have grease, uh, uh, grease points on them so you can actually service them or whatnot. So the grease worms eat through it and, and wear it out. Polyurethane breaks down and so on. And then eventually this sway bar end link, all this is doing is keeping your sway bar from, from drooping down because it's definitely not controlling any lean of the vehicle. So enter BD's upgraded sway bar end links. Nice thing about these sway bar end links is upgraded polyurethane bushings that you're gonna have everywhere, in, including inside of this unit right here. These are actually gonna be replaceable. So that makes this a serviceable unit. So you don't have to continue to buy sway bar end links every time yours wear out. You just get the serviceable portion of these and away you go. So this is a really, really nice piece. Another good thing about this is the articulation of this sway bar end link. So the sway bar end links, obviously you have some articulation at your axle uh, position right here. Then you have a little bit of natural articulation because of, the, of, because of the bushings that come with these. But then that articulation is pretty limited. Now, the articulation with this jointed uh, just join the sway bar end links. This makes it really, really nice because you're not putting as much pressure on the uh, on the bushing points of the sway bar end links that are actually going to be ha that are actually going to be controlling your sway bar. So this movement, um, this let's we'll just call it front and back movement you have, you're going to have in the axle or the sway bar. But when it comes time for the truck to lean, the verticalness this is going to be rigid. And again upgraded polyurethane bushings are gonna be able to really, really take the abuse of that. It's just a really, really nice piece. Another thing that's nice about this is this is a huge upgrade when your truck is on a two post lift and all that weight is, all, the weight of the axles is pulling on this. Uh, this is a much more robust unit than you're gonna get with your stocker. So it's not gonna stretch that and manipulate it to where it's not able to do its function as a sway bar in link because it's deformed, deflected, whatever you wanna call it. So now, Let's look at what you get in the kit. I'm gonna let Adam set up on the shop and uh, we'll show you what, what all comes with these BD sway bar end links for the Dodges. This particular kit, this particular kit is part number 103-2050. This fits the Dodge three quarter ton and ton trucks for the 2000 to 2009 model years. Now, this is a fully assembled BD sway bar end link just to give you a shot, and I'm gonna walk through each uh, component of that uh, right now and show you how to assemble this, because the assembly of the link uh, is probably what's gonna take you more time than anything. This whole install will take you maybe an hour at most. So in assembling the sway bar end link, you have, uh, you have the cast body portion of this. Inside of the cast body, you have the polyurethane bushings uh, that BD sends you. You also have uh, the portion that attaches to the sway bar end link. This is a, 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 uh, a nice piece here as well. Then you have new poly polyurethane bushings that are, gonna s that are gonna sandwich on either side of the sway bar. And then all very nice uh, hardware, all grade eight stuff, uh, really good uh, nylock nuts, nice, nice bolts and everything. So on assembly of this, I'm gonna walk through assembly on this from top to bottom. I'm gonna have a nylock nut on the top, bushing washer, Bushing, this piece right here is your, is your portion that attaches to the sway bar, another bushing, and then the bushing washer itself. Now that's your top portion. Then next, you're going to have inside of the, inside of the cast body, I'm gonna work on the top of this, you're gonna have the shorter of the two bolts in the kit. You're gonna have a sm a, the smaller washers that are in the kit. You're gonna have the polyurethane bushing that's inside of there. Then you're gonna have another small washer on the outside, nylock nut. And on the bottom or the axle attaching side, the longer of the two bolts that are in the kit, the larger of the washers that are in the kit, 
polyurethane bushing, cast body again, uh, another large washer there, one of the smaller washers, and then another nylock nut. I'm gonna show you the steel inserts now that are on these sway bar end links. These steel, these steel bushing inserts for this, this is gonna really, really keep uh, the alignment of the bolts in here correct and keep you from having uh, uh, premature wear that's gonna be on the bushing itself. Those uh, bushings come in the kit as well. And you can see those here on our layout. So I've laid out all of these portions that we just talked about on the, uh, I guess it would be the right hand side of your screen. So you know what you're looking at there. And then that's the full assembly and how it goes together. All of this is obviously in the instru BD instructions that they send along with you. One last thing, you also will get some lube for putting the bushings into the cast body assembly. Now, we did this video on a later model truck on 2005. We're gonna be doing this on a second gen now. BD sent us two of these kits to install. This one's going on a second gen truck. It's gonna be going on my 01 truck. So we'll go ahead and we'll get ready to get started with the installation. Normal hand tools is all you need here, but something that may trip you up, on the 2000, 2009 models, you will, ha on, the, uh, on the axle mount for the BD sway bar ends leak, you may have to get yourself a 9 16th drill bit. You may have to drill that hole out on the frame or on the axle for the BD sway bar to attach to. But if that's what we have to do on this truck, it's what we have to do, I haven't checked it yet, but I think we're gonna have to do it just based on uh, the size of this hardware it came out. I'll show you a little bit closer look. Here is a wore out sway bar end link. Very wore out on the socket side, and you can see the polyurethane bushings are just broken down, or rubber bushings, whatever these are. They're just broken down. So this is really isn't any, any serving any any purpose for our steering components. So let's put on a BD sway bar inlet. All right, now you have to press the polyurethane bushings into the cast BD body. This will work. So most of you guys are going to have a vice at home. Uh, this will totally work on a vise, and we did in the other video we used vise, showed you setting up and doing that. You can use an arbor press, or you can use a uh, press as well. Um, this, we have a press here, so I'm gonna use the press, and I'm gonna just show you putting these in. Comes with some uh, lubricant in the package as well. I definitely suggest using it, because it will make your life a lot easier. You want to make sure that the bushings are going to go straight. And what I do is I just press them in there until they hit bottom on the other side. Bring a press back up, flip it around. Try to keep the thing, the uh, bushings as straight as you can. So when you use the press, the bushings are only going to go so far. You'll see that you're going to need a little bit more on that. So I like to take them to this ridge right here. So then at this time, what I do with them on the press is I just flip them over and then I push it on through the other side. And then I watch it while we're pressing just to watch it get to that point. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Use a socket so it, it has a recess where it can get through. And there you go. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for equal amounts of the bushing on both sides of the cast housing. So I'm going to do this bottom one real quick and then we'll show you putting the sleeves in. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with showing you how to remove the uh, stock sway bar end links on these trucks. You can use all standard stuff. So it's a 5 8 on the top nut, 11 16 on the bottom one. When you're doing this, I suggest you remove the top one first because what that does, if you when you leave the bottom one in, in place, it keeps it from, uh, or it gives you something to turn against here. So the way that it is, unless you go through the top of the super long extension, you're gonna to have to do it with a ratchet. So we'll go ahead and remove our top nut. And then we'll cut away. 
bottom nut on these is actually three quarter. I said 11 sixteenths, but three quarters what gets it. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip it off. It's good to soak these down and penetrate in oil too, because they're gonna have rust on them. They're gonna have road grime. So soak them in a little penetrating oil. Once you get them started going one way, tighten them back up and then loosen them. That's gonna keep it going your way. Once, you, uh, once you've got the bottom nut off of it, if this turns on you, this is hexed. Uh, the bottom bolt of this is hexed, so you can put a wrench on this and hold it, and then you would have to wrench off the bottom nut. I hope that doesn't happen to you, but if it does, you can get it, no problem. So now I just go ahead and knock it out. And take your top one off. I've got the other side of the sway bar link. You need both of them. Uh, both sides off really to get the actuation of the sway bar to get it off and there you go you can see this one was junked up too grease worms ate up that and then your bushings are just pretty well trashed so hey we're gonna put the newness on here this is what we were talking about with our bottom bolt this bolt hole will not accept the bolts that uh, came in the BD kit so we're gonna drill this out 9 16 all right, I'm gonna go ahead and drill this uh, axle standard out. I'll just show you what I was talking about there. The bolts that come in the BD kit. You get here, it won't fit this. Get yourself a 9 16 drill bit. Go ahead and drill it out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. These axles are, are hard, so have a good drill bit, good sharp one. Okay. Not a lot of material comes off there for 9 16 so voila, our bolt fits. We've got our hole drilled. We've got our stock sway bar. To be honest with you, installation of this is easier if you've got both sides off so because you don't want to be fighting one side or the other. So get both sides off, which we have here. So it's now it's time to put our sleeves in. There's two of them. You have one on the top and one on the bottom. I suggest putting a little bit of lube that comes in the BD kit with these just to make installation of the sleeve a little bit easier. And then you'll want to try to get it as even with the bushing as you can. There you are. So now we've got sleeves in both sides of that. And when I build these, I build the top first. So what you wanna do is you wanna put uh, the top portion of this together. So in your kit, in your BD kit, as we were talking on the stack over on the table, you've got a longer bolt and a shorter bolt. You wanna use the shorter bolt here. All right, so we wanna get one of our small washers first. Then we wanna take our top portion of the of the of the sway bar end link and go ahead and put it over the bushings nice fit there i'll put our short bolt in all right then you want a another small washer on the other side of that and nylock nut go ahead and leave it loose all right now the top portion the top portion you're going to get one of these bushing saddle washers like this right here and it can't find my polyurethanes found them I'm back in the shot. How's everybody doing? Talk, talk, hope you talk amongst yourselves. Then you want the bushing for the sway bar itself has got a rise on it. You want the rise going towards the top. That is actually going to engage the sway bar, of course. Then what I do is I just go ahead and put this on the sway bar at this time. Have your polyurethane and your other saddle and the smallest nylock nut in the kit in your hand and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and put the sway bar in through then the polyurethane bushing with the next rise back towards the uh, the raised portion back towards the sway bar and then the 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 bushing washer and then the the small nylock nut and there you go so then your bottom is your longer this is your axle bolt the longer of the tool bolts is the axle bolt you're going to want to use one of your large washers and go ahead and place that on there. And then between the between this bushing and the axle itself, 
you're going to want to use a small washer, one of these small washers. So we're going to go ahead and pick the sway bar up and we're going to put our long bolt through and then before it engages the axle, we're going to put a small washer on it and we're going to push our bolt through like so and a large washer and then the final nylock nut. Now on the on these, I do this the way the directions show it. They don't tell you this, but I did it the way the, the picture showed. And I have nut on the outside here and then bolt head on the outside on the top. Don't know that it makes a difference. That's what I showed in the directions. And that's how I did it. Now you'll want to torque these down. You want both of these bolts and nuts. You want this to be 110 foot pounds. And then the top uh, nylock nut, 10 to 12 foot pounds on that top one. And there you go. It's fully installed. The bullet, or <laughs> the bullet. Gee, I can't talk today. The BD upgraded sway bar end links. Guys, you got tons and tons of Dodge problems on these front ends. It's one of the biggest things that everybody says, hey, what's, what's gonna happen with a, a Dodge truck? It's gonna fall down around the Cummins. Uh, the uh, steering on these trucks is definitely something that leaves a lot, and I mean a lot, to be desired. You can go one step farther with this. After you do the BD uh, upgraded sway bar links, you can go ahead and change out your actual sway bar bushings that are at the that are at the uh, uh, the frame side. That would make this a really really nice installation with really good sway control in the truck. I definitely suggest you look at doing that as well. So there you go. There is a uh, BD sway bar installed and ready to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do our other side, and then that's it. So. Uh, we're not going to take up a bunch of time in this video and show you how to do that. Just remember, 110 foot-pounds on the torque on these two, 10 to 12 on the top one, and we showed you how to orient it, and you should be good to go. So if you have a question about this product or any other BD-related products, just let us know. We're going to link you inside this video somewhere around in here where you can purchase the BD Sway Bar end links for your Dodge truck or your Chevrolet truck, um, whatever you need. And remember, guys, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission when you purchase the diesel parts, and we can help you with that. Thanks for watching.